All right guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're kind of doing a part two to the canister mosaic video that y'all saw a couple weeks ago. So in that episode, we made a couple of different elements using the 3D printer. We made a star, we made a uh, maple leaf, some triangles. Today we're gonna put them all together. We're gonna make a geometric pattern with all of those independent geometric shapes. And it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna do some nine-way welds, some four-way welds, some tile welds. So you'll kind of get to see a bunch of different steps in this mosaic making process. Um, one of the other things we're gonna do is work on a new pattern that we started off camera. We're gonna bring you in on it. It's kind of a twisting star look. It's really cool. Uh, we're gonna four-way that and tile that one out as well. So stay tuned, stick with us here. We're gonna make some really, really cool devices. surface ground one inch square um, with our variety of patterns we're gonna go through and we're gonna measure each bar up and we're gonna basically lay it out in a nine-way weld so we're gonna take those square bars and orient them in a pattern three across and three up and just a variety of uh, kind of miss and mix and match them a little bit and we're gonna weld that all into one bar draw that out we'll probably four-way it again after that um, but for now it's gonna be nine one-inch bars three over, three up. So let's, uh, let's do some cut. I did. <laughs> it, 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 it was implied. Didn't say that. All right. So, next step here in the mosaic process, um, you saw Jay clean up all the ends and catch them all. Now we're stacking all of those kind of geometric shapes all into a nine-way weld. We've got them labeled out exactly how we want them. Uh, we're going to go through and clean all of the mating surfaces, and then we're going to TIG weld all the seams closed. And we're going to forge weld that into one big block. Um, and we're going to draw it out and we're going to four-way it again. We've arranged these tiles or these patterns so that when we four-way it again, we're actually going to create a pattern with the geometric patterns. Um, I don't really know what I'm going for exactly, but a pattern of geometric patterns sounds cool. So we're going with that. On the second one, with the uh, swirling stars, flame looking thing, Again, we're doing a four-way, so we've stacked it up how we want uh, the patterns to line up. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, scotch bright the surfaces, get them good and clean, and TIG weld all these seams shut. And then we're going to forge weld them all together. Let's roll.
So, forging is done. We have our two bars. Uh, this is the four-way that we are going to start our tiling process on. So the guys are gonna cut the ends and surface grind top and bottom and sides. So we get a perfectly clean square bar and then they're gonna cut 45 degree tiles out of it. This is our nine-way weld that we are now going to surface grind both sides, cut the ends off and we're four-way it again. Uh, but first we're gonna cut the end off, do a little test etch and check the pattern. So the pieces are surface ground. Um, we've got both bars all laid up. We measured this big square bar with the really cool uh, geometric pattern. We measured it up to cut it in four exact pieces here. And now we're gonna four-way it again. And then the bar with the twisting stars, uh, it is forged into a three-quarter by two-inch bar and put some layout fluid on the top and we're gonna start our tile cuts. Uh, well, we're actually going to do this four-way and get this to the same state as this and we'll cut the tile cuts on both at the same time. But uh, now that everything's cleaned up, we just need to uh, weld this four-way pattern together and forge that and then it'll be time to do tops. Alright, so I just want to do a quick close-up on this. You'll notice I marked the ends of the bars with a zero. That pretty much lets us know that this is the end of the bar. Um, the way you want to stack your bar in a certain way when you're going to do a four-way, you want to use your inner seams because the patterns will line up the best in the middles. So we've marked our middle seam here and on the ends. That way, once we've got all our pieces, we can know which sides to, to uh, test etch. And then once you've pretty much got uh, everything lined up, you, pretty, you just uh, line it up to how you want the pattern to look. So it takes some figuring. I remember exactly how I had it, but once you uh, arrange it in the pattern you want, then uh, you TIG weld it all together. Alright, so we've got our four way with our geometric patterns. It's all TIGged up, ready to go. We just had to soak in the WD 40 for a few minutes, and now we're putting it in the box. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna take it down to another, we're gonna, once we weld it up, we're gonna take it down to another square bar uh, and we're gonna four-way again. We probably won't show that process, but um, we're gonna forge this all into one, draw it out to about a one and a half inch square bar, surface grind it again, and uh, we'll do another four-way before it's time. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for today. We're going to call it there. Uh, we will pick this back up in the next episode next week where we will cut all our tiles, do our final tile weld, and draw it out into the final bar. We'll walk you closely through that process. I know it's a really complicated weld for a lot of people, and so we will make sure to go through that very thoroughly in the next episode. So like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next